I was working as a clerk. Mm-hmm. Uh, translate. Mm-hmm. I was. Uh, so, oh, translate uh, is also one of the the logistics, or rather, one of the bus brands. Yes. Yeah. yes. So you started working as a clerk. A uh, office clerk. Mm-hmm. And then, when I finished my undergraduate, I did mm-hmm. operations management. Mm-hmm. I started managing their finances. Mm-hmm. And I became, I became the finance manager. Interesting. And how was that journey? Because considering you had gone into abject poverty and then you started going through the rank, what aspirations did you hold through that particular period? You know, every hurdle that could come before me, yeah. I knew I needed to jump mm-hmm. and go to the next level. Mm-hmm. So I was never contented with anything that came mm-hmm. to me. So I could only look up and get that appetite yeah. and also look down and appreciate mm-hmm. the steps that I've made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what kept me moving from one place to the other, one and point it's, to the yeah. other. And it's very interesting. I think maybe I'm not also gone so much into it, but you'd mentioned that when you knew university, you had to do odd jobs. So, okay, besides the cyber, which was at least a good job, quote unquote, back in the day, was someone called Django? What else did you actually do? I could do Django, uh-huh. I could do some washing uh-huh. for some people, clothes, uh-huh. I could do car wash, everything that could earn me a living. And where are you staying then? Because I can try to imagine the whole family is in Kisi. Or what now? In Nairobi, how are you surviving? No, not in Nairobi. Mm. Kisi University That's in, is Kisi. in Kisi Town. Oh, in Kisi. Oh, yes. Right, uh-huh. So I was living in a small room. I was paying 1,400. That was your rent? Yes. So uh-huh. when you leave home, yeah. you leave home carrying your clothes mm-hmm. that you will use to go to school. Uh-huh. You go after Mjengo, mm. you get in, in nearby. River. So there's classes you used to be living yourself, Yes. Uh-huh. And go to class. And how, how was, uh, was it called? How did you sustain through this period? Because I can try to imagine you want to be successful, you want to get out of this, and things are not working out. How, what was keeping you going? Yeah, the, the, the fact that uh, my classmates could assist, mm-hmm. and I had hope mm-hmm. that you will manage through this semester. Yeah. The next semester I can mm-hmm. manage. Mm-hmm. So each and every time, yeah. you are counting on hope. Mm-hmm. and pushing on mm-hmm. but you must you must i started with one semester yeah. one year so you're paying you're going. paying your school fees from the support of your classmates and some of the households used to do yes yes and how much is the school fees then first time around uh, fifty-five thousand. and as mjengo how much are you making per day around 300. <laughs> <laughs> how does so how are you meeting this fifty-five thousand from 300 a day yeah, you see, when I came yeah. from the village, uh-huh. it was paid almost two oh, year, almost uh, one year. That was oh. almost two semesters. It was the Arambi, the whole village mm-hmm. had to come through. So from uh-huh. there, I was only topping up. Uh. So each and every time, mm-hmm. I was almost ahead of the school. Oh, at least you are you are three hundred kombele, Yes, yes. Going through all these difficulties, because all these hurdles, what's it called? Having struggled paying your school fees, being an IDP finishing school in debt, trying to go into college. What did, what has difficulty taught you? Uh, the only teaching I got from this is that never give. Mm-hmm. You know, when you hit the wall, there's a door. Mm-hmm. So you just walk through. Interesting. And mm-hmm. how you keep it? I, I think I'm just trying to imagine all the problems because I've never experienced that, all that you've gone through. Mm-hmm. Um, just keeping sane all through. Were you never depressed? Never depressed was not something that was in no, your no, language. No, no, no. That was not an option. <laughs> yeah. Because you can only get depressed when you've gone high and you're coming down. Uh-huh. But when each and every day you're seeing yourself walking, uh-huh. just keep walking. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that you started off as a clerk. Uh, for how long did you work as a clerk at Transline? Around uh, one year. Mm-hmm. And how much right now are you earning? 500 shillings a day. Also, you at least will graduate from three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And then uh, you mentioned so for the clerk you worked for one year, and then after that, what happened next? I became the finance manager. Mm-hmm. Yes. Still at Transline, based in Kisi. Yes. And now, how salary really grew to what percent? Uh, not so good mm-hmm. because it started with uh, ten plus the five hundred that I was earning. Also, oh, ten. 
10,000 10, per, ma per month and uh -huh. then there's this 500 daily. That was as a then manager. Kept on graduating. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And then how did you graduate? I like knowing about the by finance the time, journey. By the time that I was living. God, you understand <laughs> this journey so that but you can see God through it. By the time I was living, the highest it had, it had gone is 50. Ah, yes. interesting. And going through this corporate ladder, from, I believe you had never touched 50,000 before. What are some of the disciplines you learned around money? Because you had someone who earned 300 shillings a day, you went and earned 500, then 10,000, up to 50,000. What did you learn about money, considering you had not touched money before? How is it? What did you learn about money? Okay, you know, um, I was surrounded by business people. Mm -hmm. So each and every time I had an appetite to try and do business. Mm -hmm. So Transline had an account with Equity Bank. Mm -hmm corporate section. Mm -hmm. That's where most of the time you could you could have introduced that section. Mm -hmm. But the business people can go sit, have coffee as they wait maybe to be served. Mm -hmm. So most of the time I could meet people there that I admired to talk to mm -hmm. and even understand how I can do business. Mm -hmm. That's used to access it as a finance manager? Yes, uh -huh. and because the, the company had an account uh, at equity mm -hmm. and corporate section. So this kept me admiring how business people were living. Mm -hmm. So, and I thought I should start also doing business. Mm -hmm. So I started from registering a business name, mm -hmm. and through some of these friends, mm -hmm. started getting business opportunities mm -hmm. to supply. So it started somewhere. Mm -hmm. The journey started, mm -hmm. and then even my uncle now is mm -hmm. the chairman at Kenya. Then yeah. helped me secure some job yeah. which was really heavy and I could not manage to fund it. Uh -huh. He 